Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Drama O Rama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs, and I'm so excited to share this time with you today. So remember to have your journals ready, and let's get started. For today's warm up, we are going to play a game called Conflicts. A conflict is an event or a situation or a person that stands in the way of a character getting what he or she wants. We're going to pantomime a short scene together that shows a clear conflict and a resolution. A resolution is simply the act of solving the problem. So I want you to listen to my directions as we pantomime together. Are you ready? Find a safe space to move around, then stand in neutral. For our short conflict resolution scene, we are going to blow up a balloon. So first, I need you to pick up the balloon and start blowing it up. Oh, it's very difficult to blow up. Try it again. Hmm, it's very difficult. Can you do it one more time? Try to solve the problem. Hmm, is there something you could do to make it easier to blow up? Oh, that's good, stretching it out. That might make it easier to blow up. Give it a try. Oh, it's still very difficult. It's not working. Hmm, try it again. Hmm, is there something else you could do to solve your problem? Oh, you're going to use a pump to blow up the balloon. That's a great idea. Okay, put the balloon at the end and blow it up. See if it works. It's working. Great. You solved your problem. Now take the balloon off carefully and tie it up. Nicely done. So you wanted to blow up the balloon. The conflict was it was too difficult and you solved your problem by using the air pump. Well done. This season, we explored story elements such as character, setting, and plot in different fairy tales, fables, and folk tales. Today, we are going to explore conflict and resolution in the Mexican folk tale, The Day It Snowed Tortillas. I'm going to tell the story and act it out using pantomime, and we're going to pause to explore conflict and then we're going to make predictions about what happens next. And then we're gonna show how the conflict was resolved. And I want you to act it out with me. Are you ready? Find a safe space to move around, then stand in neutral. Conflict in the day it snowed tortillas. There once was a very clever woman who was married to a very hard-working woodsman. The woodsman made a very good living cutting down trees and selling the wood in the nearby village. But he never went to school and never learned to read or write. And he loved to talk and was known for saying some foolish things. His wife, being clever was constantly rescuing him from all of these sticky situations that he would get himself into. Well, one day when the woodsman was in the mountains chopping down trees, he happened upon a giant overstuffed bag. Being very curious, he opened it and found that it was filled with gold. He was so excited that he wrapped it up, picked it up, ugh, went back home to show his wife. Honey, honey, look what I found. Ugh. 
Whoa! Look at all of that gold! Oh my goodness! Did you find this in the mountains? Oh my gosh, you know what? Don't tell anyone that you found this in the mountains because bandits may have hidden it there and, and I'm worried that they might come looking for it. Freeze. Let's figure out when the conflict began. The conflict began when the woodsmen brought home the gold, making their home situation unsafe. What do you think is going to happen next? Will the wife ask her husband to put the gold back? Will the wife find a way to trick her husband? Or will the wife hide the gold where no one can find it? Let's find out what happens next. And then she thought to herself, Ooh, my husband... He can never keep a secret. What am I gonna do? And then she came up with a plan. Hmm. Oh, sweet husband, can you come here for a second? Could you please pick me up 100 kilos of flour from the village today? 100 kilos? Fine, I'll go get it. Oh, thank you. And he did as his wife asked, went into the village, bought 100 kilos of flour, picked it up, and brought it back home. Here you go. Oh, thank you, my sweet, sweet husband. I really appreciate it. But you know what? You look a little tired. Why don't you go on up to bed and I'll be up in a minute. I just have to clean up a few things. He said, oh yeah, sounds like a good idea. I am really tired and I need to get to work in the morning early. So he said, he went up, went up to the bedroom, put his head on the pillow and immediately fell asleep. Well, as soon as his head hit the pillow, his wife got to work. She made tortillas with all of that flour. So she made batch after batch after batch of tortillas. She made so many batches that it stacked all the way up to the ceiling. And then when she was all done making the tortillas, she grabbed a few at a time and threw them on the ground outside. Each batch she tossed and tossed all around the outside of the house until the ground was completely covered in tortillas. Hmm. Her work was done, so she went up to bed the next morning, the man wakes up, <gasps> uh, looks out the window and sees, what? What is this? And the wife says, what do you mean, what is this? What What are you talking about? He said, look, 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 the ground, it's, it, it's completely covered in tortillas. And she was like, oh, yeah, that. And she, he said, well, what do you mean? Oh yeah, that, well, how could the ground be covered in tortillas? And she said, well, obviously it snowed tortillas last night. And he said, what? I've never heard of that. It doesn't snow tortillas. And she said, of course it snows tortillas. It always snows tortillas. If you went to school, you would know that it snowed tortillas. That's how I found out about it. I studied it in school. So you know what? You better go to school and study about how it snows tortillas. You better go today. Come on, off with you. So he was like, oh, okay, fine. And so he, he went off to school, not really liking the idea, and sat down in the classroom and looking around, feeling very old, 
feeling very uncomfortable. And then the teacher started asking questions and he didn't know the answers to any of those questions. And he didn't know what to say. He was getting more humiliated and the more humiliated he got, the more furious he got. And he just said, oh, I can't do this. Stormed out of there during recess. Went back home, went up to his wife and said, wife, I don't wanna to go to school. I wanna work. So I'm gonna pick up my ax. I'm gonna chop wood and I'm gonna take this into town and sell it. And she said, okay, suit yourself. If you wanna go into the village and sell your firewood, go ahead and sell your firewood. Freeze. The wife tricked her husband, but will this solve her problem? The wife in trying to keep her home safe comes up with a plan to solve her problem. Do you think this plan is gonna work? Let's predict what happens next. Will bandits come to take back their gold? Will the husband leave town and move to another village? Will the wife run away with the gold? Let's find out what happens next. About a week later, just as the wife suspected, bandits came to the house. Where's our gold, they demanded. The wife acted confused. Gold? I don't know anything about gold. Come on, said the bandit. Your husband's been telling everyone in the village that he found a giant bag of gold in the mountains. It's our gold. You got to give it back. Oh, my husband, oh my goodness, he is so silly. He says the most foolish things sometimes. I, I don't know anything about gold. Oh yeah? Well, we'll just wait right here until your husband gets back. So, they paced back and forth and back and forth, making the wife really nervous. Freeze. Now the conflict is at a turning point. Now that the bandits are in their home, making it very unsafe to be there, how will the wife solve her problem? Let's predict what happens next. Will the husband come home with the police and arrest the bandits? Will the wife escape and run to the village for help? Or will the husband tell the truth to the bandits about the gold? Let's find out what happens next. As the sun was setting, the bandits looked out the window and saw the woodsman approaching the house. They ran outside and demanded, what did you do with our gold? And he looked at the bandits and looked at his wife and said, oh yeah, the gold. Well, my wife hid it. <laughs> wife, oh, why don't you go get the gold you hid? And she said, wait a minute, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about gold. And he said, oh, sure you do. Don't you remember? I brought home a giant bag of gold that I found in the mountains the day before it snowed tortillas. And then the next day, you made me go to school. And then the bandits looked at each other, shook their heads and went, wait a minute. Did you just say it's no tortillas? Uh-huh. And did you also just say that your wife makes you go to school? Uh-huh. Well, the bandits didn't believe him and said, oh, 
Obviously, he was telling tall tales in the village. Come on, guys. Let's go find our gold, because obviously this one is crazy. And off they went. And they never came back again. So, the woodsman and his very clever wife kept that bag of gold and lived happily ever after. The end. Today we explored conflict and resolution in the Mexican folktale, The Day It Snowed Tortillas. We also made predictions about what would happen next. We showed the conflict began when the woodsman brought home the gold and then told everyone in the village about the gold, which alerted the bandits. And then we showed how the wife, using clever thinking, was able to convince the bandits that whatever the woodsman said was foolish. So this illustrates that acting foolishly can create conflict while using clever thinking can resolve conflicts. It's time for today's journal prompt. I want you to write a paragraph describing the conflict and resolution in the day it snowed tortillas. Include how the conflict began and then the obstacles that stood in the way and then finally how the conflict was resolved. And remember, use details. so much for exploring conflict and resolution in our Mexican folktale today. See you next time! Bye.